YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Demo here, back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna take my broken GNG SSG1 and see if we can upgrade it only using spare parts that I have laying around. Let's get to it. All right, so for starters, I know some of you guys are wondering like, how is this even broken? You guys can kind of see it's a little rusted, a little, a little beat up, right? So, um, long story short, I was out of town, right? Um, and while I was out of town, this thing saw some water damage and the gearbox is done. It's, it's, it's done. Like literally nothing on this gun works. Not even the tracer unit, unfortunately. Yeah. Whole gun is just chalk. So all my years playing and working in airsoft, I've accumulated a lot of stuff, right? So I figure instead of spending any money to fix this, why not see what I have on hand to fix it and potentially upgrade it? So that's what we're doing in this video today. And let me tell you guys, we're gonna give this thing the ultimate overhaul. Shout out to the Noti gang and all the returning subscribers. I appreciate you guys. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Also go ahead and like this video. Run it up in the comments, man. We're on the road to 100K. And let me know, do you guys own or like the GNG SSG one? I was pleasantly surprised using this gun, honestly. All right, I think you guys are gonna like what I have in store for this gun, especially with the spare parts I have. It's kinda, it's kinda crazy. Let me just tell you guys, my spare parts and airsoft collection might be a little different from your average airsofter. That's not a brag or a flex. That's just kind of a realization that I really have a problem. But all the parts I'm about to show you guys really are extra parts and I have not spent a dime on anything new to upgrade this gun. I promise you guys, I'll show you guys every single part right now and I'll explain why or how it's a spare extra part. All right, y'all, so the first upgrade we're gonna do to the SSG1 is we're gonna go HPA and we're gonna take my old Polestar Jack and we're gonna install this thing. Now, I know some of you guys are wondering, yo, Demo, how do you have a Polestar Jack as spare parts or extra parts? Uh, for those of you guys that are OGs of the channel, you guys remember when I first uh, built Sharkeisha, made my first Polestar montage, when I first branched into, you know, the HPA rifle market. Um, at the time, the Jack was the newest um, system on the market. It was way cheaper than a fusion engine. So at that time, that's what I bought. I installed it in my, my Predator and it worked flawlessly. Um, fast forward now, and this thing has been kind of just sitting. So yes, I've had a Polestar Jack laying around for years, and um, we're gonna install this into the gun. All right, so in order to power and operate our Polestar Jack, we are obviously gonna need a few components. So I have a couple extra wiring harnesses laying around, and I also have two components that I'm honestly surprised are extra. First one is the Black Leaf trigger board. If you guys don't know what this is, um, Black Leaf Airsoft made a speed board, and I've done a video on this before, but basically what this is, is this replaces your stock Polestar trigger board um, in your F1, F2, or jack, and it gives it a very clicky, nice and responsive uh, trigger switch, very, very similar to the Fusion engine. Yo, and for the FCU, I have a Gorilla FCU. I've had this thing laying around for a while. This was actually something that I wanted to originally put into my Monk build. I just never got around to it because I personally feel like it shoots fine with the Polestar setup in there. So I figure why not mix the Gorilla FCU with the Black Leaf trigger board on this new jack in the SSG1. Now these are all major, major upgrades. Definitely will get the performance of this gun running smoothly. But I think this last one, this last one is that icing on the cake, especially for this gun. So most of you guys know I have a build by Monk Customs here, and I actually installed their newer ESG grip onto this, right? So that means that my old Euro Tactics doesn't have a home. So I think we're just gonna put this on the SSG1. Yo, so as I'm working on the internals of this, I just remembered, I kinda wanna change the look on the externals of the gun because it's just kinda rusty. On my Sharkeisha build, I did change out my magazine release and my trigger. They're both Max model products now to keep the reds matching a little bit, but that means that I have my old Retro Arms mag release and my old red speed trigger kinda just laying around, so we might as well just throw these on the build. And the green on this is actually a little like faded, it's yellowing, I don't know, the color's off. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna remove this front end right here and we're just gonna rock just the black tracer up front. And then this part is gonna go back to the stock black one that came on the gun. And then since these are rusted, I'll probably just remove these. Then I think overall externally it'll be black and red. Hopefully, I don't know, I'm just thinking while I'm working on the internals, but let me get this all installed, make sure everything's working, and then we'll keep it moving. All right, y'all, so picking it up about a week later, my SSG-1 is now in its final form, and I can't wait to show you guys uh, real quick before I even show you the gun. I've passed it around to some friends. They've shot it, they've given me their feedback. I've posted it on Instagram, get some comments, see their feedback and whatnot, and I gotta say, 
Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this gun. I'm genuinely happy with this gun. So here is the SSG-1 in its final form, at least for right now. Um, I'm gonna breeze through everything that has been done to this to complete it, and then I'll drop some gameplay for you guys, and then we'll wrap the video up there. But I'll let you guys admire it for a little bit. You guys can see the overall black and red theme. I'm actually super, super proud of how this turned out. The existing parts from the SSG-1 are the upper and lower receiver and the barrel kit. We obviously swapped out the green and put the black back on the cap. Completely got rid of the green front end so we can run whatever tracer unit we want. I'm currently running the Ace Tech Brighter C, carbon fiber vinyl wrap, and then a little sneak peek at a upcoming Speaky B product right here. Then all the red accents from my old Sharkeisha build. Max model hop up unit with a spare like Mad Bull Steel 603 that I've had. I swear I got that barrel in like 2014 and it still shoots beams. More carbon fiber vinyl wrap. And then honestly, I think my favorite edition of this entire build was this right here, high cap of front sight. And overall, I'm gonna muzzle flash you guys. It just really allows me to get downside. It gives me a point of reference. Instead of just looking down a rail, since my paintball tanks, my tanks literally right here. Instead of just looking down a rail, I've got a point of reference with the front sight. So cracking it open real quick to show you guys. This is actually one of my favorite parts. So this gearbox actually came with my, um, my Monk Customs build when I ordered it originally. And what they've decided to do with this, which I actually admire is, uh, there's a slit in the gearbox right here. What this slit is for is for you to wire the max model tracer unit um, for the hop up, those wires. But the beauty of this design here, you guys can see the back is cut out. If I unscrew these screws, just this top part of the gearbox comes off, which allows me to do any sort of cable management uh, and any sort of maintenance to my Polar Star. That also makes installation of these a lot easier if I have any issues. I mean, the screws on the Euro Tactics are just a headache in general. So definitely shout out to Monk and Mac Customs for this design, super clutch. That wraps up this whole talking technical portion of this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I mean, I wanted to give you guys kind of the inside look and, and behind the scenes, like what's going on in my head when I am doing these builds and this is the final product. And I just, I couldn't be happier with it, man. This thing performs and it just feels good. It feels nice. and. I'm really, really proud of this build. All right, so I'm gonna run some gameplay for you guys. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any third person footage of me actually like handling the gun. You guys will see some first person gameplay, get to see the shoot and all that. But moving forward with this build, I think the only change that I wanna do personally is I'll probably ditch this Euro Tactics for um, one of the newer ESGs just because I personally like the zero degree angle that that comes with. And I think I'm a little more used to it from my monk build. So that will probably be changing in the future. But for now, hey, this thing is solid. You guys will actually see in our tournament vlog, Sapo broke two of these. Well, two of the monks, but I've also seen people break these ones as well. So can someone please aluminum this shit? No more 3D printed stuff. I'm not crazy about 3D printed, so somebody gotta do it. Someone spend the money, please. <laughs>